All right, welcome back to the Weather XM updates here with Mono. Super excited to be going through this. We got uh, good news and we got some bad news. Mono, let's uh, kick it off with the bad about the TGE, which will be delayed. We're uh, we're two years in. I know the community is always asking, like, hey, we've been doing this for two years. What's taking so long? Walk me through it. Yeah. So, truth is that we haven't been trying to to do the talk launch for two years. So it was since it was decided since the beginning of the project that. We're going to build the infrastructure first, create some value, and then focus on the token launch. So it's only the last few months that we we are working in parallel with all the other stuff, um, preparing for a token launch. Now, Got there's it. a lot of complex problems to solve, um, and we have to solve them all at once. And it's not easy. And, and you know, it, it was difficult to forecast when we'll be, we'll be ready. And... Um, so let me walk you through. Let me uh, yeah, yeah. Be... Give me give me some of these problems that you're trying to solve. <laughs> yeah, sure. So I think one important change, um, you know, we've been on Polygon testnet for all this time, but we decided that uh, we're going to change the chain that we're using. Um, the reason is we have this like huge vision that of, of what is possible to happen in our project and and the things that we can achieve, and unfortunately. We're, the tools, the technology for what we have in mind does not exist yet. Uh, for example, we're confident that weather insurance will move on chain and um, and we believe it will happen in the Ethereum ecosystem. So we don't want to sit away from that. But um, there's there's gonna it will ha it will require a tighter in tighter integration between you know data, weather data, uh, collateral, uh, DeFi stuff. Um, and, and you know changes in in our protocol in the weather xm infrastructure and, and the protocol that we're trying to create around weather data so it sounds like a, um, a layer three is with today's technologies and terms uh, it's a, th that's what we need to achieve those goals and so arbitrum provides flexibility for those kind of things and is already very strong in the DeFi world um, at the same time, we want to keep um, one foot in Ethereum mainnet uh, just in case something changes in the future, in the long-term future, because we are targeting you know, many years. Um, uh, we're preparing for many years uh, ahead of us. So therefore, we decided to, to launch our token um, in a hybrid approach where we do the genesis on the Ethereum mainnet, and then we move um, the, the rewards of the 55% of the tokens. Basically, we move them to Arbitrum, and we do the rewards, the, weather, the community rewards, weather station rewards in Arbitrum. So we have uh, both uh, best of both worlds, let's say. Yep. But of course, we have some you know, disadvantages, some extra complexity uh, to achieve this. And okay, so kind of the, the first the first big challenge is this moving from basically one chain to another, and there's a really good reason for that. But it's not like it's a simple thing where you just push a button and it it works. Uh, there's complexity there. All right, I, I, I can I can get on board with that. What uh, what else are you dealing with? So we're also changing completely the reward mechanism. I mean, we've we've mentioned this before. Um, what we have today uh, is basically we have three thousand more than three thousand. Wallets connected because of the weather stations that are connected uh, that we need to reward on a daily basis. Um, today, what we're doing is we're doing individual transactions for every wallet. Uh, whether you know users want to take their tokens or not, we're giving them in. But this creates a huge uh, waste of resources uh, and, and blockchain space because we are doing three thousand transactions, and as the network grows. If we have you know hundreds of thousands of stations, we'll have to be doing hundreds of transactions on a daily basis. Um, and so the solution to this problem exists already. Other projects do it. Is the Mer Merkle tree approach, where essentially we create a document that has all the rewards uh, for all the wallets, and we hash that, we put it on chain, and everybody can claim their rewards at any point they want uh, in time. So this gives you know the freedom and the option to users to do as they wish, but dramatically decreases the gas fees from the network's perspective, from the project perspectives, and, and it becomes way more efficient. 
But of course, it adds complexity in on chain and on user experience and on front end and everything. Got it. I mean, it's nice for me because I'm not I'm I'm not going to change or claim my rewards every day. Um, I don't need that. And if if claiming those rewards every day incurs a gas fee, no matter if the network pays it or I pay it, like it's it's just a wasted thing. So. Okay, and but I can also see that uh, this Merkle tree thing is that's not complex. That's not like a, or that adds complexity. That, that's not a one button press either. Okay, so we got two of them um, reasonable so far. What uh, what else you got? So another issue here is that um, if you for for the ones who've read the the white paper, um, we were targeting to fully decentralize in three years, and then. When we started the project, when we wrote the white paper, we were assuming that we would do for the legal work um, uh, some time down the road. Um, as we started executing on this plan, uh, it became clear that there's a number of reasons why we have to do the, the legal stuff for the DAO today before the token launch. So therefore, uh, we are creating... Um, as we speak, we are creating an association in Switzerland that is the legal wrapper of the of the DAO, and and we are essentially uh, you know, moving faster with the decentralization. So we are opening the road from the legal perspective, and because of that, uh, we are you know uh, we are in, in we are improving the the. We're moving forward with the, the, the with the practical uh, decentralization, basically, like you know, governance on on chain and so on. Got it. Okay, I mean that makes sense, and I think the white paper it said that the the DAO will be done three years after the TGE. So now it's kind of pushing before that, which is great from the perspective of a, a really healthy, mature project. But I can see that again, you don't just like uh, bolt on a DAO and hope it works. Um, and I'm sure there's a ton of, ton of paperwork and legal craft. Yes, okay. Yes. So there was, that's, there was a, yeah, sorry. I, I was going to say that there was a, legal, yeah. a lot of legal work because we have investors and we are creating a new entity, the association, but we also have the company. So, you know, we have to, there was a huge overhead there of how to separate the assets and tokens and everything. Got it. Okay, cool. So we got three big big complex problems so far this is it's it's starting to get this a lot going on all right tell me tell me maybe one or two more things um that are complexities that you're dealing with so again when we started the project we assumed that we will do our token listing on a decentralized uh, exchange because we want to do a permission to do it in a permissionless style without uh, a, a pure native decentralized way um, we can still do this, but I think is 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 good for the token economic stability and longevity and the growth of the network. It's better to be on a top tier uh, centralized exchange or or more than one. Um, and and I think the the project is successful enough that can actually claim uh, uh, this and and get approved because it is yep. a process where you know the exchanges. Are have to to select you to approve you yep. uh, but i'm optimistic we will achieve this but again this is something that adds delays and, and complexity because there's a lot of additional legal work that uh, the top tier centralized exchanges require yeah yeah and i've worked with other other uh, deep in projects on this and i don't know what what you guys are doing i mean i'm not part of the that that thing for weather xm but i'll tell you with other projects it is not a small task. So, okay. So that's that's a pretty big thing too. I wouldn't want to do any one of those. Um, maybe just do one more and, and give me a little kind of light at the end of the tunnel here. Make, make me feel a little bit better about this. <laughs> so, yeah, I think uh, another important reason why we want to uh, spend a little time, a little more time in testnet is related with, a, uh, with the quality of data. I mean, we rolled out this mechanism already um, uh, uh, at the beginning of this week, uh, for the ones who don't know, uh, quality of data is 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 a, a, a way that we have to evaluate uh, if the data produced by the by every individual station are of good quality. Therefore, we can monetize on them. Therefore, we can use them for customers that need, you know, whether data, raw data, or uh, for or build forecasts on top of them. So we're separating yep. good quality data from potential garbage that this will exist unfortunately in every network because you know some 
stations might be not properly deployed or they might have a fault uh, or problem. So this, this, the way we have approached this is um, we're using some novel algorithms that we came up uh, with during all this work that we've done in this area uh, that yep. have, have never been tested, tried before in, in meteorology. Like uh, we have some exotic features and, and, and algorithms that we can detect obstacles, casting shadows uh, from the solar radiation, or we're comparing data between stations or uh, third-party data. And so we, we're not sure how this uh, is, is going to affect the network on, 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 the glo on a global scale. So we expect some turbulence there. We might mistakenly, you know, do wrong on, on the quality of data score for some stations that are good. And um, so we need, we need to make sure that we are fair with everybody. And we need to make sure that the quality of data mechanism, uh, as we roll it out gradually, it, it's, it's working perfectly. Um, and I think that's, you know, that's, that's probably the most important reason why we need to delay the token launch, uh, code freeze for a while and make sure everything is working perfectly. In addition to the, the change of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the chain that we're using, the L1 and 2, uh, there's, you know, some security risk there. We want to make sure that everything is, is perfect. By the way, we have completed the smart contract uh, audits. They are public in our GitHub. Um, so yeah, a lot of things happening at the same time, super complex. I think we're in a very good spot. Um, and, you know, we walked, there's a, as we walk this path, you know, more things become clear than what we had in mind a couple of months ago. But uh, yeah, we, we still need more time to make sure everything's Okay. Right. Yeah. I mean, man, that, that makes sense to me. And thanks, thanks a ton for taking the time to go through it is that it's not just one or two little things to, to wrap up there, are, you know, at least went through five pretty big um, challenges that are also opportunities to make this project awesome. And in the long run, you know, everybody wants the project to be successful. So I think I can get on board um, with all of this. Okay. So let's, let me ask this on kind of behalf of the community is you talked a little bit about the quality of data and making sure that that stuff is, is right. What can the community do to help um, get this thing across the line? So, yeah, we, we want people to be a little bit more patient, especially if they, you know, there's, if they uh, uh, believe that something's not working as it should. Um, and we love the feedback. I mean, if something seems broken, uh, please let us know. Uh, uh, you can send us an email at helloweatherxm.com or you can, uh, if, if you're more uh, geeks, uh, you can use GitHub and, and, you know, create an issue there. Um, and especially when it comes to the quality of data mechanism, um, if you think that we are rewarding your uh, station in a wrong way, please, you know, send us a photo of the deployment and explain to us why you think uh, our mechanism is not working properly. And that's the whole point of, you know, being, being on a test net. Um, and, you know, remember these rewards that we're giving the, uh, of our token are going to be recalculated from scratch uh, at token launch. So even if something is not working uh, correct today or tomorrow, um, as, as long as we fix it before the token launch, then it's not gonna, we're not, it's, it's gonna be fair for everybody basically in, in the network. Uh, it's not gonna Got be it. a problem. Okay. All right, so if, uh, if you're, and I say this with the, all, all due affection, if you're a nerd, Use GitHub to report it. If you're not, if you're if you're more like me, uh, howlers, this is your chance to howl as loud as you want. Just make sure when you shoot the email in, it goes to, I think you said hello at weatherxm.com. Include a photo. Tell us exactly what's going on, what you think is wrong. Um, if it's an email, it just says, ah, my station is broken. You guys should fix it. That's probably, if it were me, I just said, uh, put that in the trash. The WeatherXM people will probably be a little bit nicer with that. But the more detail you can give, and especially with the photo, the better that's going to be. Cool. Um, Manos, thanks a ton for taking the time. I know you guys are super busy cranking all this stuff out. You got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to work on. I really appreciate making uh, making the time for the community to keep us all posted. Thanks, man. Thank you. And we're going to be, you know, uh, keeping everybody up to date with more and more of these updates anyway. 
Um, so looking forward to our next chat. All right, right on. Ciao, ciao.